Father, we're in love with you. We love your Holy Spirit. And we love your presence, Jesus. We love your presence, Jesus. We love you. We love your presence. We love all about you. We love your glory. We love your word. We love everything. Everything about you. We love everything about you. We're in love with you, Lord. We're in love with you. 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 For the last time, somebody just tell him, Yakutanda. Yakutanda. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus, somebody. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. And give him a shout of praise. Oh, yes. Amen. Wow. You may be seated in heavenly place. Hallelujah. I love this song. I love this one. There is a song which is coming in my spirit. A new song, new cantic. Can I sing it? From glory to glory, from glory to glory, you bring us, you bring us in the secret place. Of your holiness, you call us. Lord, you call us. Can you get it for me? From glory to glory, from glory to glory, you bring us. You bring us in the secret place. Of your holiness, you call us. You call us. You don't get it. Wow, it's a wonderful song. Amen. I'm extremely blessed, ladies and gentlemen, because I know today what is about to come your way will change your life forever. The Bible said that He sent forth His word and healed them. And I'm in to tell you that healing is coming your way. It's not because I believe it, but because I know it. I say it's not because I believe, but because I know it will be so. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're excited as I am, I want you to rise your feet with me, somebody. And I want you to put your hands together for Jesus. As God is bringing us to another dimension of his glory, let's welcome our pastor, our daddy, Reverend Napoleon Essien. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you for the opportunity we have to be where you are. May we not be the same because we came. Holy Spirit of God, have your way. Mando, Haya, Bosha. Oh, yes, let your glory fill your temple. May we not be empty, Lord. Fill us tonight. Fill us, Lord. Mohandeliande. Mokapando Rukayandarabaya. Oh, handeli momo, shandeli ya kabo, shandeli bo. Oh, tota ya bando rondili baba. Mayando roka banda rianda raba. Oh, yes, Lord. Mo kama mamando rianda limo roka. Mayando tele bande lima hando roka bande. Eh, hey, ya balaba babonde limo hota liando roka. Mayando roka bande. Somebody go ahead, go ahead and pray. Commit a month of September into the hands of God. Mo hando te le bando rundi. Le ma 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 mando rundi li baba. Ya baba riando rundi li baba. Rundi li bebe le bebe. Mondo robo le bobo. Cheve le bobo. Le bolo bobo. Shando liando riande le mo shalabalaba. Mi koto rianda raba raba. Ke talaba. I ma 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 rundi li baba. Lima mama ma liba raba riba liba raba ba moto ba ya baba limo robobo aye limo shande liba ba riande lima do tele ba aye mando roshilebo lima do riande limo hosa 
Aïe le mando, ronde le baba. Et y'a la bala bala ba. Ke ma mando roka bando rushalaba. Ke ma mando ronde le baba. Ke ma mando ronde le baba. Me le mama sote le babé. Eh, y'a bando ronde le bande. Ma sota rianda la baba. Ke le balabo, le balabo, le balabo. Mi kabayando ronde le baba. Somebody lift your two hands and pray and say to the Lord, Lord, I commit the month of September unto your hands, Lord. Ah, every single day in the month of September, may your presence, may your power, may your glory, may your favor, may your grace ah, be with me. Ah, in this month, Lord, lay my toe labaya. Le mato le mamando rosalaba. Ah, kiamariande. September, lo mo rosili bayande. Ah, we lift our hands in prayer. Oh my God. Moto rianda rabaya. Le mayondo rosili babi. Mayata yando rundi li baba. Mashinki yando rundi li baba. Mashaka bando rosili baya. Moshaka bando rosili bonde. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you for divine speed and acceleration. Father, we thank you that in this month we shall overtake and we shall occupy. That in this month we shall be fruitful. That in this month we shall achieve a lot. Father, thank you for your mighty hand that is upon us. We give you glory and we give you honor. Let your name be exalted. We lift you on high and we say tonight, have your way. And above all, let your will be done. We give you all the praise for who you are and what you have done. In Jesus' name. And all the saints shall shout, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please be seated in heavenly places. Well, we are going to leave very soon. But before we leave... I came to share the word of God with you. Amen. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you for uh, your prayers, your presence, your wishes, and everything on my birthday. It was uh, really a great demonstration of your love. Thank you, everyone, and God bless you. May you also be celebrated. May you never be forgotten. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, how many know that Sunday is our international Sunday? Have you got your international or traditional cloth already? Do you have something? What are you going to wear? Are you dancing an international dance? or What is the uh, Zimbabwean international or traditional? No, that's... (laughs) Zimbabwe, what, what is the uh, traditional? <laughs> Sunday, believe God and wear something uh, traditional. Amen. Amen. It's going to be fantastic. We are going to have international dressing, international dance, international language, and international food yeah. with international people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we will be uh, it's this service we have it once a year, so when you miss this service, it means the whole year you have missed. An ad- <laughs> How many understand what I'm talking about? So uh, be sure to be here. Oh, I thought you were putting your hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Are you happy you belong to an international church? That is why you are not permitted to be a district or a national person. I see you becoming an international person in the name of Jesus. Any one of you who doesn't have a passport, by the time this year is ending, you have a passport. Some of you don't even know what passport is. But by the grace of God, we'll tell you what it is. Hallelujah. Amen. Mandy, have you traveled outside South Africa before? Where were you? Hey. 
I see you going international. Amen. Amen. Some of you, you were born at your village. You've not been anywhere. The furthest you have been is Cape Town. (laughs) Hallelujah. Are you here? So, uh, men and brethren, let her take. Are you getting it? You see, listen to, listen to me. God has given us a very unique and beautiful church. There are different kinds of churches around. Are you getting it? Doing their best for God. Are, are you here? But God has also given us something. Are, are you understanding that? Yeah. We are not like any other church, but we are also a church. And we like what God has given us. Is that not it? Yeah, we have the different things in our church that we celebrate and we are happy. So be part of what God has given us and I believe that you will enjoy it and it will change your life. Amen. 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 The last time I was telling somebody that till you find yourself talking to people and you yourself, you notice that you have an accent. You are not international. If you have not felt that you have an accent, then you are not yet an international. It means you have always moved among your people. There is nobody with an accent. It is when you become international that you have an accent. You arrive in a place that your accent is not known to them. So you yourself, you notice that you need to slow down. To hear yourself. Hallelujah. I see that happening to you. And... Many people who cannot be employed by international companies, it's not because they are not good. They are just not exposed. You may be very good, but you are not exposed. They don't need you. Are you getting it? Yeah, so um, come along. Come along with what a church is doing, different things, and flow. You will never know the blessing that it will come your way. Amen. Okay. Great. Turn your Bibles with me. We have a very short um, few minutes for us to be together, but I want to share something with you. And the title of my message is Good and Faithful. Good and Faithful. Hallelujah. Go to Matthew chapter 25. Are you in Matthew chapter 25? See, when the time is limited like that, you need to be sure that you can have something you can preach within the shortest possible time. Okay. Good and faithful. Are you in Matthew chapter 25? Let's read from verse number 14. And we'll be out of here. Matthew chapter 25, reading from verse number 14. Are you there? Bible says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants. Are you there? And delivered unto them his goods. So, we learn over here that the kingdom of God is like what? Yeah, it's like you know, to a man. It's as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Okay, verse number 15. And unto one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them five other talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. 18. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lost money. Are you there? After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he... And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, 
thou deliverest unto me five talents, behold, I have gained, I have gained beside them five talents more. The Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, well done. Can you see the same blessings over there? Verse number two. 23, his Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. 24, then he which had received the one talent came and and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strode. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not strode. Thou ought therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming, I would have received my own with usury. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, 28. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which has ten talents. For everyone that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that has not shall be taken away even that which he has and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. Well, I think we can close and go. This is a very uh, popular scripture that we have we have read over and over. Are you getting it? Listen to me. If you are part, I don't know, the Lord is laying on, on my heart that we should be proper sons and daughters of Bishop Dag Hayward Mills. There are certain portions and certain scriptures in the Bible that God has given a deeper understanding and a fantastic teaching to our Father. Are you getting it? Yeah. Out of some of the scriptures have come, I mean, books and different titles. Are you here? So, a book like Loyalty and Disloyalty, Anakazo, Biazo, Anadea. You see, when they say you are a lighthouse member, there are certain things that must be off the cuffs. You need to be able to preach about loyalty anytime, anywhere. You need to be able to talk about Anakazo. You need to be able to talk about church planting. You need to be able to talk about uh, uh, mega church. You need to be. You see, our father is known for certain things. Are you getting it? You cannot be in this house and you wouldn't know as, I mean, you wouldn't know about the work of God. Scriptures and different things. And the cars that they compare are loose. I mean, different things that makes us unique. Are you here? And God is laying on, on my heart. In fact, this evening I was coming to share with you uh, the act of following and the title of my uh, uh, topic tonight was the use of camera the use of camera that is what I was coming to yeah act of following using camera but listening to this listening to this this will be a good start we will continue but Bible says that this man Many people don't know that being faithful is is good, but not good. The servant who had one talent was very faithful. Can you see? 
Many people don't know that the one who had one talent was faithful, but he wasn't good. That is why the blessing that the Lord gave was not faithful. He said, good and faithful. That's my title. Good and faithful servants. Good and faithful servant. May you be good and may you be faithful. Yes. I said, may you be good and may you be faithful. Amen. Some people are very good, but they are not faithful. Are you here? Yeah, we, you see some people, they are very good in what they do. Sometimes they have talent. Somebody said, God gives um, title, uh, talent or gift, and the devil also gives vices. So when God gives you a virtue, the devil adds a vice. So there's always, most of the talented people have something negative attached to the talent that God has given them. So you can be very good. If you look at even singers, those who are very good in singing, most often they are not spiritual. Those who are very talented in what they do, they are good. Very good. But sometimes faithfulness, you will not find them when they are needed. Those who know what to do and how to do it, they, you cannot find them to be faithful. Are you getting it? So being good is good, but it's, it, that is not the best. Are you getting it? Tonight, may you acquire a, 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 a grace not only to be good, but also to be faithful. May faithfulness be added to whatever you are you, and whatever you have. Hallelujah. Your ability to be constant and to remain fruitful and to be reliable and dependable with whatever God has given you is a quality that will let you excel in any other area of your life. Remember that the Bible says that the Lord called these people and he gave them the talent. Whatever you have, you have been given. And you see, sometimes you don't even know why you seem not to be so endowed. Bible says that, and he gave them the talent according to the several of their ability. Sometimes you overestimate your ability. Sometimes you think that you can do so many, but God who created you, he knows you more than you know yourself. So don't be worried so much. Are you getting it? Sometimes I, I see how Joe can sing, different people can I can I don't get worried at all. I may not be able to sing like he is singing. Are you getting it? But God has also given me something. He know. He gave it to me according to the several of my ability. Amen. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. It's like somebody has employed you into a company. He is paying all of us the same salary as drivers. And you are driving a Benz. He is driving a truck. And you are driving a forklift. You don't need to be. The forklift is not yours. The Benz is not yours. You see? But if you, if you, you are not aware, you begin to feel that you are more important than the one. The one who is driving the Benz. You may think that you are more important than the one who is driving the forklift. He has given you according to the server of your ability. You are going to, if only you will be faithful as a forklift driver. If you can be faithful, you may even earn more than the one who is driving the Benz. Who is not faithful? Just be faithful with that little thing that God has given you. If you can, that I'm talking about. You see, you are good as a driver. But that is not the end. Will you be faithful? Sometimes people who are driving the forklift, they look at the one driving the Benz and say, no, I also want to drive a Benz. Don't, don't, look, what is it that God has given you? Can you go to verse number 16 or 17? He said he gave them according to the several of their ability. Are you there? 15. And unto one he gave five talents, and unto another two, and unto another one. To every man according to his several ability. You see, there's something that you don't know. Even when they make cranes to lift things, when they make us, they tell you the weight that it can carry. You may have a big bucket. You may think that you can carry 
the, 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 the manufacturer can say that it's one ton. You, you can't take more than one ton. When you take more than one ton, you will break down. You have not been made to take more than you can. Hallelujah. God has given us. If we will be able to really nurture what God has given us and be faithful with it. Hallelujah. The one who had to receive the same reward, he operated at 100%. If you've been to school, if you have two and you make two more. Yeah, you've operated at 100% profit. And the one who had five, he made how many? How, he's also operated at what? So there's no difference between the one who made five and the one who made two. There is no difference at all. Hallelujah. You see, but I'm telling you, some of you, you have been given five, but you are bringing eight. And somebody has been given two and is bringing four. You may think that, look, I have eight. But you don't know that in the kingdom, he will be higher than you. Your eight is smaller than his four. Am I preaching to anybody? I say your eight in the eyes of God is lesser, is smaller than his four. Because that person who had four is operating at 100%. But you who is having 80, you are operating about 60%, 40%, you've not touched it. Are you here? Yeah. So, be sure that you are faithful with what God has given you. And when you are faithful, and when you are faithful, and you are good in, with what God has given you, it brings a certain blessing. There's two fantastic blessings that comes to these people. Bible says, an increase, expansion. It says, you have been faithful with little. Therefore, become a ruler. Authority is given, and you are giving something more than you can even understand, and you can even, nothing, nothing. Like people who sing. You can sing and sing and sing. Nothing can, like preaching and teaching. You need to use the ability to preach and teach. There is nothing that you can do to preach and to call a sick person for the person. That one is not in you, that ability. But being faithful with that small preaching and teaching, when you are faithful, then something that you cannot gain can be added. Something that you cannot gain. You can only improve in your singing skill. You can only improve in your voice, can only improve. When you are faithful with that, then something else can be given. That now you can sink and people will get healed. That one, it doesn't depend on you. It is, the Bible says, and when the Lord came, he said you have been faithful. Therefore, enter into. So, when you are faithful, when you are good and faithful, you are promoted into where you cannot gain. To be a ruler and to be given a city, you cannot trade and gain it with talent. It is your ability to be faithful even as a dancer. I said, dancer for some dance. Say, oh, she has been faithful with her dancer. Therefore, I will promote her and make her anointed minister. Are you understanding that? She has been faithful with singing. Therefore, I will cause her to become a renowned worship leader. I will give her a healing anointing when she sings. People, I pray for a lady, Kimmy Scotter. An opera singer is now a world renowned. I told her I will pray for when she begins to sing, the glory of God falls. People come. I mean, not a church service. It's an opera singer. People come out of hill chairs. But since she began, she's changed who uh, her father is. That grace is gone. See, so she's good, but she's not been faithful. Yeah. The, somebody called me, said he saw her uh, recently at uh, TB Joshua in Nigeria. He said, Pastor, I saw your daughter because I remember like yesterday how I prayed for her. She got born again. She received thanks. And I told her, you will sing and this will happen. Exactly. See, you can be good, but you need to be faithful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Good and faithful. 
servant, good and faithful servant. This evening, I did not come to preach for a long time, but I pray that you will not, you will not just be a good singer. I pray that you will not just be a good uh, 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 believer, but you also be a faithful. Hallelujah. Good and faithful. What is the use of a, 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 a Caesar? That is only, you have a pair of scissors. There are things that go together. If it is one, a pair of trousers, a pair of shoes. I don't know whether there's holes in my socks, but if, if what is the use of one shoe? What will you use it for? If somebody parcels one leg of a shoe, the left, what, will, what are you going to? What are you going to do with it? Somebody gives you a trousers, it, it, only one. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to? So, when it comes to faithfulness, these two goes together. Good and faithful. Don't just be good. Don't just be good. And don't, de- look, de- can, can I tell you something? You won't believe it. I hope you, you will believe it. That sometimes even your faithfulness will be rejected. If you are not good. You, you go to go. He said, he was faithful. He kept the one. He kept the one talent and he brought it. He said, this is what you gave me. This is the, he was so faithful with the talent. He never lost. It wasn't gone. He, the the, the talent was not lost. He, He said, he saved the talent. He still had the voice. He still could preach. But he wasn't good. Some of you, you are faithful coming to church, but you are not good as a church member. You are just a faithful church attendee. You are just a faithful pew woman. You are just a faithful watcher. You've been watching me. You are always watching me from the pews. And, and you are faithfully I, I, I pray, I pray, I pray for you. I tell you. Though at a point, faithfulness is wickedness. He said, that wicked. At a point, yeah. That we said wicked and slothful servant. Wicked. It's wickedness for you to know how to dance and not to dance. It is wickedness for you to have a voice to sing and you are not singing. It is wickedness for you to be able to know how to mobilize, do things, and you are you you are keeping the ability. You are keeping the ability. You watch us as we struggle. You see, uh, what do you call it? Four people will be dancing on Sunday instead of having twenty-five or thirty people. We've divided in palace, lizardos, holes, uh, uh, what? spiders in King Palace. Yeah, else on wheels. Four groups, each one there should be at least fifteen. Yeah, you see that some of them, four will come. Hey, meanwhile you can dance. You can dance. You are you are keeping your talent. You are keeping your talent. You have dug the, you have dug the ground and you have kept. Can, can, can we? He said, yeah. Go, go to verse number 25. Say, I know. I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Where did he hide the talent? Where did he hide the talent? Can I explain that to you? Can I explain that to you? The talent is hid in the earth. This is the earth. Bible says we are made of the clay. You are hiding the talent in the earth. Are you not a clay? Yeah, the talent you are. He said, you hear the talent. The voice is in the earth. The abilities is in the earth. You've heard it in the earth. And I, I hate the talent. Yeah. He said, I was afraid. 
and went and hid the talent. Yeah, lo, there thou hast that which is thine. Yeah. Then continue verse number 26. Bible says, His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slow. Look, was the guy faithful? Did he, did he lose that talent? He did not. So at a point, faithfulness without being good is wickedness. Yeah, at a point. At a point. Being a human being and not putting all the faculties that God has given you to use. What is the use of your mind? What is the use of your eye? You are, it's like God has created a waste. You are wasting your sight. You are, you are, you are like a big waste. It's wickedness. It will, yeah, it will be better that you die. If you are, yeah, because there's no difference between you dying and you. You c- c- continue. Said so thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges. And then at my coming, I would have received my own with usury. He said, even if, if you did not want to even trade and gain, you could have given it to somebody. If you will not take the initiative that you will lead, you could have even joined others who are leading to do something. Then at my coming. But continue. Verse number 28. Take therefore the talent from him and give it to him which has the ten talents. People don't know why people lose favor and other things. But the most frightening thing is say that cast him, the unprofitable servant. Cast the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. Some of you, your beauty is not even benefiting the church. You are, your, I mean, you, in fact, your beauty is even harming the church. Instead of using your beauty, if you were employed as a front office manager or something, you would be smiling to entice people to come. Yeah, for 5,200 a month. But you cannot come to church and even entice people. When it is time, we say that, oh, show your love. You are too, if you can't even move from your, st- your chair to another person. You can't even move to smile and to shake. You can't even. Good and faithful. May you be good and faithful. May you be good and faithful. I tell you. May you be good and faithful. If not, God can cause you to marry a faithful person who is not good. You know. I tell you. Very faithful. When you go to where he doesn't go anywhere. He, he is not even thinking of sleeping with anybody faithfully in the house. No cooking, no sweeping. You, you know, you know, that, hey! What kind of faithful person is this? What kind of faithful person is this? I'm saying that sometimes you will notice that even the faithfulness is a problem. Is there faithfully? Unmovable, unshakable. I can't wake up. I can't wake. I can't. If you don't rise up, faithful, very faithful. Very faithful, he's not moving anywhere. He will never be unfaithful. He will never, but you will notice that hey, I, I wish that I don't have this faithful uh, madam in the house. I'm telling you, I pray that you will not be a faithful wife and you are not. Yeah, you can be faithful, it is good to be faithful, but you, the good man, good and faithful. I'm telling you, good and faithful. Faithfulness without being good. I said the, the, the one who had the single talent, he was rejected not because he was, he, he was, no. He was faithful, but without good. You notice that the faithful doesn't work. It's wicked. Faithful is all good. Wickedness. Yeah. Faithfulness. Yeah. There are some people who they will never leave the church. Hey. They are 
faithfully there. But there is nothing good. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home now. Faithfully attending. They will be here on Friday faithfully. Sunday they will come faithfully. International said they will come faithfully. But I don't think that they would contribute. They would dance. They would say, no, 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 no. They themselves, they are registered liabilities in the Islam. I'm telling you, good, good, good and faithful. I said, tonight my message is very simple. Good and faithful. Good and faithful. Yeah, you need to be good and faithful. I tell you, you need to be very... You marry a a man who is faithfully unemployed in the house. (laughs) Faithfully not moving. Faithfully not working. Faithfully eating your food. Hey! You notice that what kind of faithful man is this? <laughs> yeah, it's a pity. Look, some of you, you read the Bible too much, that's why you don't get revelation. When, when Jesus is saying something, just take your time. Just take your time and find out what is the man saying. After people, he said he traveled to a far country and he came back and the reward was good and faithful. And you, you are looking for somebody. You wouldn't look for somebody who is good and faithful. If you go with one leg, either good only that you will notice that you are you, you I'm telling you good and faithful may, may this combined blessing be your portion may you be good and may you be faithful may the goodness of the Lord be found in you may the faithfulness may the faithfulness of the Lord be found in you in the name of Jesus my God, Bible said that he created and he saw that all that he created was good. God is called a faithful, a faithful God. He's a good God and he's a faithful God. He's not just faithful, he's good and faithful. Yeah. That's why Jesus, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was faithful to the Father. He was faithful preaching. Why are you becoming just faithful? Good and faithful. Good and faithful. May the Lord bless you. May you become good and faithful. Servant of the Most High. In the name of Jesus. Hey. May we be able to have some good things to say about you. Some people even now when I look at them. they are, I, I don't know the adjective to use. Yeah, some of them there is no superlative to describe them. It's, it's like. <laughs> Lord, may we be faithful and may we be good. That on that day we shall hear good and faithful. We shall be good in preaching and we shall be faithful in preaching. We shall be good in whatever you have given us and we will be faithful to the very end. We pray for this grace in the month of September. Lord, your goodness and your faithfulness will combine to assure us. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your power. Maha to liande, tilia hayande, to kabando ru kabande. My God, we thank you and we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Be exalted and be lifted. Oh, mahandi libo, shakabatalaba. May I not be just a faithful church uh, uh, member, but may I be a good and faithful member. 
hey, Lord, may I not just be a good pastor. I, I pray that I will be a good and faithful pastor. Hey, may I be good and faithful. May I be good and faithful. I pray every single member, including those who are not here, let your grace, let your power all come over us. That will be good and will be faithful. In Jesus' mighty name. And all shall shout, Amen. Amen. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May his grace. This month, I see the goodness and the faithfulness of the Lord. May these two, the, may these two forces combine to make you into somebody that can never be refused. Somebody can, that can never be rejected. Because you are very good. And you are faithful. May these two blessings be found in you. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you something? In conclusion. Sometimes you hear people say, she is good, but may every but in your life be removed. She is good, but she is hardworking, but may every but in your life be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. She is beautiful, but she is educated, but the but negates and reduces. It cancels. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's time zero. Me, every but in your life, whatever reduces the value that you are supposed to have in life and in Christ. May the bad be taken away in the name of Jesus. May you be good and faithful. May you be blessed by the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Can you shout a louder amen? Amen. Hallelujah! Close your eyes and let's pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you for your grace and for your power. May we not be the same. As we close, we pray that your goodness, your faithfulness will be our portion. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, as we close, if you are here, you are not born again, you want to say, Pastor, pray with me, pray for me. If you are not born again, all eyes closed, slip your right hand high above your head and I'll pray with you. If you are not born again, you don't know, will I go to heaven or hell if I die? After life, what will happen to me? Pastor, I'm not sure. I want to pray with you. If you are not sure of your salvation, please lift your right hand and I will pray with you. Father, we thank you and we bless you for the opportunity to hear your word. May we not be the same because we came. Thank you that we shall be good and faithful until the very end. In Jesus' mighty name. And all the sons and daughters shall shout, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Okay, please be seated. Well, some people were late, so you did not see the clip about International Sunday. I want you to take out your offering. Take out your offering. If you are paying your tithe, some of you pay your tithe every quarter. <laughs> yeah, I saw some, I saw some uh, pastor. The pastor is very bold. He has listed the name of all the non titles and he's bold. I said, My God, this pastor is very bold. <laughs> I acknowledge that I lack that boldness. <laughs> it's not simple. When I look at that pastor, I look at myself, giving my people the liberal option to choose whether to pay or not. I notice that no, 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 no. I lack the boldness of that pastor. He has printed the name on a yellow sheet. <laughs> with borders for you to know that you have no pain. It's listed. Hey! Yeah. 
non titus hey. that shall never be your portion you shall not pay tight when you remember yeah the tight is the first and best it will be the very first expenses very first thing you will take out of the money it should always be the first some people you do it uh, last um, something when you have spent when some of the money is left there so let me pay no the tithe is the first and best it should be the first expense that goes out before any other thing yeah I pay my tithe and offering together and it's the first thing I do first before any other some of us if we don't pay it first it's as though we have even not paid it yeah it can't be second and better. No, it can't be third and good. It is the first and best. Are you understanding that? Believe God. Believe God. And grow up in your faith towards him. The Lord, I will do this one first. If you put God first, he will put you first. You put him second, he will also put you second. But he will put all the people. You see, when God puts you second... All the people who have put him first. How many know that you can be in second position and you are actually the hundred number because a lot of first people are there. Are you understanding that? Yeah. So you are second. But the second, in, yeah, in terms of rank, you are maybe... Okay. If you are... This is our church account. If you have an account, just link your account to the church account, transfer it into it. Your name or your telephone number as the reference and your life will not be the same. Amen. Take out a good offering. Those who are paying their tithe also, stand to your feet. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the opportunity we have to sow. Thank you for your blessings, your faithfulness, and your grace. May the blessings of Titan be our portion. Open the windows of heaven. And bless us that there shall not be room enough to contain it. Rebuke the devourer for our sake. And Lord, oh yes, may we not discount our properties and our blessings in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your favor and we thank you for your grace. Now as we give also according to your word, cause men to give back unto us, press down, shaking together and running over. We receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Please rise up and come to me. Rise up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. May you increase from good to become better and from better to best. and faithful. May we hear this words one day. Good and faithful. Good and faithful. I'm depending on some good people to invite all our church members and to bring them to church faithfully. Good and faithful. Good and faithful. Good and faithful. Good and faithful. Hey. Sita Bile, where were you? It's good to see you. I hear you share the same birthday with me. You should have been at my birthday. You missed out. Oh, if you are coming, come. Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. How many are ready for what is coming on Sunday? Sunday is going to be fantastic. It's going to be. Good and faithful. What do you think? Are you ready for Sunday? By the grace of God. Amen. Put your hands together. Let's welcome. Hallelujah. Somebody who can do better than this one. That, 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 that was a, an amazing message. Good and faithful.
Some of us, you are just good. Yeah, but faithfulness. Eh? Some of the people are just faithful. But in terms of good, nothing. 